Welcome to lesson 3.3 of our payload course. In this lesson, we'll explore dynamic routing and static generation in Next.js. These features allow us to build highly efficient and scalable applications by pre-generating pages or dynamically rendering content based on incoming requests. Let's get started. Dynamic routing is an essential concept when working with modern web applications. It enables us to create flexible, scalable applications without manually defining every possible route. Instead of having separate files for each page, Next.js allows us to define a single file that dynamically handles multiple paths. This is particularly useful for content-driven applications like blogs, e-commerce stores, and dashboards where the data structure is dynamic. In Next.js 15, Dynamic routes are created using square brackets in the app directory. For example, to handle blog posts dynamically, we structure our files like this. This tells Next.js that any request to slash blog slash some post should be handled by page.ts. We can access the slug dynamically and use it to fetch and display relevant content. This means we can create a single template that can render thousands of pages dynamically, eliminating the need for repetitive code and ensuring scalability. With dynamic routes, we need a way to access the parameters provided in the URL. Next.js automatically extracts these parameters and makes them available in the params prop. This allows us to retrieve dynamic data based on the specific route accessed by the user. This function dynamically renders content based on the slug parameter. If a user navigates to slash blog slash my first post, the value of slug will be my first post, and we can use that to fetch and display the corresponding post content. This approach is powerful because it ensures that our code base remains compact while handling an unlimited number of dynamic pages. Additionally, using Next.js's app router, we can further enhance how we handle dynamic parameters, such as implementing conditional logic based on different slug values, fetching related data, and managing error states when the requested content doesn't exist. When working with dynamic routes, we often want to pre-generate as many pages as possible to improve performance in search engine optimization. Next.js provides the generate static params function which allows us to specify all possible routes at build time so that they can be statically generated and served instantly. For example, let's say we have a blog with hundreds of posts stored in our payload CMS. Instead of generating these pages on demand, we can pre-build them using generate static params, ensuring lightning fast load times for users. This function fetches all published posts directly from payload CMS's local API returning an array of objects, each containing a slug. Next.js uses this list to generate static pages at build time. By leveraging the local API instead of an external fetch request, we can improve performance, reduce dependency on external API calls, and ensure seamless integration between our front-end and back-end systems. However, if new posts are frequently added, we need a strategy for updating the static pages. This, this can be done using Incremental Static Regeneration, ISR, which we'll explore in future lessons. While Generate Static Params is a great tool for pre-building pages, we must use it efficiently to avoid long build times and excessive API requests. Here are some best practices for optimizing static generation. Memoization of fetch requests. This ensures that identical fetch requests are executed only once reducing redundant API calls and speeding up builds. Handling catch-all routes. This supports deeply nested paths like slash shop, slash category, slash product using the ellipsis, allowing for more flexible routing. Efficient data fetching. Fetch only necessary data to keep the payload size minimal and reduce processing time. By optimizing these processes, we can balance performance, scalability, and flexibility. Understanding these optimizations will help in building efficient applications without overwhelming server resources. 
Not all pages benefit from static generation. Some require real-time data and must be dynamically rendered. Understanding when to use each approach is critical for performance optimization. By carefully selecting the right rendering strategy for each use case, we ensure that our application remains performant, scalable, and user-friendly. In modern web applications, dynamic metadata plays a crucial role in enhancing SEO and improving user engagement. Next.js 15 uses the Generate Metadata function, allowing developers to define metadata dynamically based on route parameters or fetched data. Using Generate Metadata, we ensure that each page has accurate and relevant metadata, which is essential for SEO and social media sharing. Fetch requests inside Generate Metadata are automatically memoized, preventing redundant requests and improving performance. Efficient caching is vital for enhancing application performance and scalability. Next.js 15 offers multiple caching mechanisms to optimize data retrieval and rendering processes. Here are the key caching mechanisms. Request memoization. This caches the return values of functions during a single request lifecycle, ensuring that identical fetch requests are ex executed only once per request. Full route caching. Pages can be cached entirely and revalidated on demand, improving user experience by reducing response times. Data fetching with cache policies. Next.js provides caching policies such as force cache and no store, allowing developers to control when and how data is cached. By leveraging these caching strategies, we can significantly improve performance, reduce server load, and provide a seamless experience for users. In this lesson, we covered how to implement dynamic routing and static generation in Next15. We explored generate static params, caching strategies, and SEO best practices to build scalable applications. In the next lesson, we'll dive into rendering content with rich text and media. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next lesson.